All right, let's try it. Oh, oh no. Ah, it's bad. Oh no. Rise and shine, buttercups. We're having a cookout with our friends today. It's Memorial Day weekend. Today is Saturday. Um, I'm gonna cook out with our friends today, hang out with my in-laws tomorrow. Then Monday we're going to my grandma's house. So we have a very busy weekend with literally like all the groups in our life. So Yara and I are finally gonna set up the umbrella because we returned the one from Amazon that didn't fit into the base. So um, we actually went to Lowe's yesterday and got one. Yeah, we're gonna set up the umbrella even though it's not really sunny, but oh yeah, it's like wet outside and we're having people over. I'm gonna, I have to dry everything down. But yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna make this really cute red, white, and blue cake for Monday. So I'll show you guys that, but I got like chips and burgers, dogs and stuff for the cookout today. So yeah. <laughs> oh God, look at this massive. We got the biggest one they had. Okay, so we set up the umbrella, it kind of sucks. <laughs> The umbrella is great, but the base is like not supporting it. Um, I wiped it off the table. I'm letting the cushions kind of dry. I love the umbrella itself. It's really big. It has a nice tilt, um, but we needed to order a different base, I think. Do we need to order a different base? Do we need to? I think we need to. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start prepping for the cookout. I am just putting some stuff on like little plates and whatnot. So I got these cute little I think they're called unicorn cupcakes. Look how cute. I wanted to get like Memorial Day theme ones, but they didn't have any, so that was upsetting. But I'm just gonna put all of my little desserts and stuff on here, because it has a cover and I don't want them to get stale, because it's, oh my God, guys, it is so humid outside. It's like, oh my God, don't worry, I washed my hands. Um, It's like only 60 degrees, but it's so humid. It's like cold, but hot, which is just like the worst. Oh no. <laughs> oh, why am I struggling? Now I can keep them covered until people want one. And then I have cookies. Actually, I'll probably just put the cookies on here. And then people can pick at them when they want. I have so many freaking serving trays. <laughs> oh, I... It's pretty funny. But I love hosting. I really do like love hosting parties. It makes me happy. And then I've got my cute little chip bowl. I love using this bowl for chips when I host. What is your favorite chip, guys? I feel like sour cream and onion is like the standard or a plain or barbecue. Not everyone likes salt and vinegar, you know? Or you can do like um, a sour cream and cheddar kind of vibe. But I feel like the standard is sour cream and onion. Okay, time for watermelon. Ooh, looks good. Well, kind of. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna cube this so then people can take a slice. I'm gonna do the slice instead. And I'm gonna put it on here so I can cover it when people don't want a slice. And it can stay kind of fresh. All right, let's try it. Oh, oh no. Ah, it's bad. Oh no. Oh, that's so upsetting. It's like, it's like spongy. Oh, it's gross. This is so upsetting. <laughs> this is what happens when you order groceries and you can't pick your own stuff, but it looked fine. Like I can't blame them, it looked fine. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Well now I have no watermelon, so. All right. <laughs> okay, so I have like 20 minutes until everyone is coming over, so I'm running into the grocery store and maybe I can find like a pre-cut fruit salad or something, because I like to have a fruit option at a cookout. It just feels right and I don't want to risk another bad watermelon. I just don't. So let's go see if we can find something fruity. Okay. <laughs> I did indeed secure a little like melon platter. And then I, <laughs> I found red, white, and blue cookies. Um, they had mini cupcakes too. And I was like, so, <laughs> so tempted to buy the red, white, and blue ones, but I already have the unicorn ones at my house. So I resisted, but I did get some red, white, and blue cookies, and then I got this flag balloon. <laughs> 
this place had way more red, white, and blue than the place I went the other day. So let's go home. <laughs> let's get this going. <laughs> All right, here's my balloon. <laughs> oh gosh, my water. Oh, and I actually only had one pack of burger buns and we needed another one. So it was a perfect little run. And then I got two types of cookies for everyone. I got myself some gum. <laughs> I love the Trident vibes, the sugar-free gum, and I want to try the Sour Patch because when you have a sweet tooth, maybe it would be a vibe. And then this is what I got for fruit. So, good little plata. Now for a review of the Trident vibes Sour Patch kit. I just popped it. Mmm. 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 It's good. Sour. Sweet. Kind of tastes like Sour Patch Kids. So here's outside my balloon. I put out those candles to keep the bugs away. I was gonna put the fruit out there, but I just don't know. Um, so I've got like fruit with some toothpicks. People can take one and then use toothpick to get another piece. Um, these make me upset because they, <laughs> they don't go with the theme. That's okay. Um, and when I ordered my groceries, they got me a little bag of Doritos, not like a big bag. So. Hopefully people prefer those. Um, so yeah. And then I've got the burgers and the hot dogs for Yar to grill up. Got all of our buns and stuff like that. So we are ready. Good morning, you guys. We had such a fun day yesterday. I didn't vlog any of it, but we had such a good time with our friends. Um, I'm making Yar some Dominican breakfast. Um, Trace Gold Base, if you know, you know. Um, it's so good. It's like um, Dominican salami, uh, fried cheese, and then mashed plantains. Um, it's so good. So good. I had that so much on our honeymoon in DR. Oh my god, it's bomb. <laughs> I do have a bite of his, um, his plate, but I certainly can't eat a lot of it. So um, yeah, we had a really good day. Um, for us today, we're actually going to a festival later with my in-laws and our nieces, so that's going to be super fun. Um, such a fun-filled weekend, and then I'm going to have to make the cake tonight for my grandma's tomorrow, so we'll make the red, white, and blue cake tonight. Um, of course we have leftover chips, it was way too, <laughs> way too many chips. Here's my outfit for family festival day. Uh, I just got this dress from Old Navy. Um, it reminds me of like the Weekender one from Abercrombie. It's kind of like sporty, has a built-in bra. It's really cute. I will link it. They have a ton of cute colors. And then just my Yeezys. And then I am just switching over my bag. It's really hot out. I'm gonna bring my Palm Springs. I'm gonna bring hand sanitizer, touch-up powder, cause it's so hot, tampon, um, monostat chafing relief. I'm gonna bring some chapstick and my keys and I think that is it. It's a little cotton candy. They're on the ride behind you. Um, it's very festive. After all, it's a festival. Guys, this is my sister-in-law. Oh wait, they've seen you. I yes, your makeover. Have, have. She's blonde now, but she, she made a TikTok and she's okay. making the best content. All of that like ASMR cleaning stuff that I love. So go follow her. It's Please, so good. You. I'll put it in the description. You guys. Garmin is about to try his first fried Oreo. I don't know what I do with Alright, babe. First fried Oreo ever. Cleansing my palate. Cleanse your palate with the fresh lemonade. They usually put powdered sugar on them. Yeah, but they didn't. Whatever. Oh, these are hot. Oh, do you want to wait till it cools down? <laughs> Overhyped or delish? I like how they get kind of soft. Yeah. You like it? You like it? Yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right? Guys, this is my in-law's dog. He's a full Bernice. Daddy, come. Let me see. Let me see you. Yes, you look just like Bruno. You look just like Bruno. You look like Bruno's big brother. 
We love him. He's so big. You need to let him stand up. <laughs> and he stands up. Look, guys, look how big he is. Look, so big. Good morning, you guys. It is now Monday, Memorial Day. I am going to make my little cake. It's very early. I should have made the cake yesterday. We went to bed so late. We've just had a really busy couple days. Um, they've been super fun, but I'm so tired. Um, and today, actually, we're going to my grandma's for a cookout. And then Lily and Ian are coming tonight because it's their wedding week, which flew. I cannot believe it's here. I'm so freaking excited for their wedding. But they're staying here tonight and then with family. And then we're heading to the hotel for their wedding later in the week. Um, oh, I'm so excited for her wedding. I'm so excited. Oh, it's gonna be great. Um, so we have a busy day ahead of us, but I gotta get this freaking cake in the oven. I should have just baked the cake first yesterday because then we have to like poke holes in it to put the red and blue jello in it for the colors. Like, oh, I should have made the cake yesterday. Um, but it's only 8.30, so I think I think we can get this done in time. We have to leave here in three hours, so. And then this happened, so. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so here are the tricks that I've seen to make box cake mix better. Add an, this is what I've heard on like TikTok and from my mom. Add an extra egg, substitute the water for milk, and then you can always use melted butter instead of veggie oil, so. Um, that is what we're gonna do so people don't know. Honestly, I don't hate <laughs> box cake mix though. I think it's pretty good. Okay, cake mix. This cake is really cute though. If it comes out good, you guys could make it for like 4th of July or something. Okay, and then we're gonna do an extra egg. I melted a half a cup of butter instead of vegetable oil. Then we're gonna do a cup of milk instead of water. All right, and that is it. Now we mix it up. The oven is preheated. We really just gotta get it in there and cooled. But then it should be ready to go. Okay, into the oven for about 30 minutes. Oh. It doesn't fit. Oh god. Okay, I had to adjust the rack. This double oven is harder to maneuver, so. We'll check it in 30 minutes. Good morning. I know you want some cake. You want some cake, but you can't have any. Because you're a dog. You're a dog. Okay. Hello, I'm on the floor. The cake is cooling, so now we're gonna like get the jello mixture ready for pouring it in. So I got red. And blue, blue was hard to find. Three grocery stores. So first we're gonna pour each one in a bowl and um, with boiling water and dissolve it and then add a cup of ice water. So, and then we'll poke the holes in the cake and pour it in. Okay. We got the red. Get that nice and dissolved. And then we got the blue. It smells so good. <laughs> this is gonna be so pretty. Get it all dissolved. And I'm also gonna put the recipe below that I followed because I followed amandascooking.com. All right, we're definitely dissolved, so I'm gonna pour a cup of ice water to each one. These bowls were just, just big enough. But she did say in the recipe, you're not gonna use all of this liquid. So, you could probably do a half a recipe if you wanted to for the jello. Let me grab the cake that's cooled down. The cake came out so good. It looks perfect. 
The toothpick came out clean. It took like 35 minutes in total. I feel like it always takes a little longer than the box says. So I'm just gonna take the handle of this wooden spoon and poke holes into the cake. We've got our holes, holes in the cake. And then it says to alternate rows of, mm, the cake is good, I'll just try a little bit. Red and blue, and it doesn't matter if we use all the jello. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this little, uh, little bowl here. Do red here. Don't know how much to do. All right, now we're gonna do blue. This is so fun. Little arts and crafts. <laughs> I feel like it's going everywhere. <laughs> no, I don't want it to be purple. I want it to be red, white, and blue. Back to red. This is not looking nearly as good as I thought it would. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> like this looks, oh God. All right, I'm gonna do more blue in the middle. It's not, it's not giving what I wanted it to. All right, that might be, that might be the best we can get here. <laughs> like, it looks, why does this look green? <laughs> Is it because the cake was kind of yellow? Yellow plus blue equals green. Maybe it looks more blue inside, I don't know. Now I'm going to frost it with Cool Whip and then we'll put on the berries, but I'm gonna let it cool for like a little bit longer. <laughs> cute oh my gosh Bruno you want to go in the pool no <laughs> he said no thank you <laughs> guys they're like the same size right now it's so cute have you seen them before yeah I saw them at Mother's Day but that was about it there they go there they go <laughs> yay oh they're so cute <laughs> uh, Bruno you're wagging your tail oh this oh look at Oh, okay. this is good. This is so exciting. Get that energy out. Run around. Are you taking a video? Yeah. <laughs> of our nice meal? Yeah. We have to get a video of your nice cake. Oh, thank you. We will. And let's try the watermelon. Yeah, mm. you know what? That, that's been around mm. since <laughs> when you can't get your lobster open. Jesus. Wow, that's splurting. <laughs> you got it? I've never had one this, this, this tough to open. The meat is nice, though. Okay, you guys, so I am importing the footage now and about to wrap up this vlog, but Lily and Ian are here. We had such a good night. Come show the dog, Gabe. That's my Bruno. I got my bestie and my booby. Oh, the baby. This is her first time meeting Bruno, and she loves him. We love each other. Yes. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, oh. you my baby. He's so good. Oh, bro, oh, I know. <laughs> I know. We're so very cute. excited. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be it's so gonna good. Be great. It's gonna be great.